cut, they're going to see the normal structure um, of the distal limb. And we're just going to identify normal uh, bone structure and talk about the function of the bones and the, the specialty adaptations that the horse has that you know, other species don't have. You know, for example, the, you know, the, the highly modified coffin bone, the, the highly modified sesamoid bones, or the, the really enlarged sesamoid bones that we see on horses that we don't see on other quadruped ungulates. Um, so we're going to just identify, you know, skeletal structure and function. And then we're going to identify soft tissue structure, tendons, ligaments. Um, and I'm really, I'd like to really get a lot more into the foot this time than we did. So we'll, we'll have a review, kind of a, a quicker tendon and ligament time. And then I want to talk a little bit about the you know, functional anatomy and the, and the biomechanics of that. I'd like to identify the center of rotation of the coffin joint, center pressure of the foot. Um, be able to back up some external reference points with internal looks at the at the uh, reference points. Um, like to show um, so normal foot function and normal foot structure or, or morphology. Um, and then I'd like to get into showing the effects of what of horseshoeing and um, and different different types of shoes and, and different situations, different feet types and how shoes affect um, and what the results of shoes are on feet. And mostly I'm trying to not only, you know, educate and, and show farriers how important it is to, to understand anatomy um, so that they can navigate their way through, you know, more difficult cases, but um, to show what how, what shoeing does, how the, not only the positive but the, some of the negative uh, effects that shoeing has on the foot, and how to come up with strategies to minimize those, you know, those uh, negative, uh, some of those negative things, you know, like a really wide, flared out, tight foot with a shoe out there on the perimeter, you know, um, trying to delineate between just shoeing the hoof capsule and sh and or sh and shoeing the bone column. And be able to back that up with with, uh, with mechanics and, and which is based in, in the knowledge of anatomy. Um, I'll probably have some. I'd like to, have, uh, if I could, I'd like to have some video that I could show of some loaded specimens, some loaded cadavers, in kind of a controlled environment where I can, you know, light it properly and, and then show a video of some different angles of maybe bottom view, side view, and to, to demonstrate things like the importance of the sole. You know, with and without load, you know, loading the foot with and without a sole. Um, demonstrate the movement of, of the foot, and so they can understand a little bit about the pressures and and uh, you know how how feet take load, not only statically but dynamically as well. Yeah, this is a better knowledge of anatomy, um, so that they can yeah better manage feet. And, and you know, knowledge of anatomy is not only you know that the foot falls is tubular and, and is made up of horn tubules, but that it has this kind of response to uh, to stress, to vibration, to loading, to wetness, to you know, to environment and dry or wet and, and abrasiveness and and how it responds to nails and what nails do and, and where nails are placed and how nails are placed and and so that they you know they need to understand a little bit about the nature of of, of, a, of a horn, of a horny wall, for example, and so we'll have to know some biometrics or some information about, you know, the, the dynamics of, let's say, the hoof capsule and of the sole. You know, not only here it is, and here's a health one, here's an unhealth one, but this is what the sole does. And when we don't have a sole that's, that's thick and, and has an arch in it, you can see the response to the, the result of that in the in the sole, not only that, but in the in the in the coffin bone, you know, and this is this is what now we we're looking at if we're going to try to nail a shoe on something like this versus this maybe normal one.